Hey guys, this is Benny. Um, so, I know a lot of you have been coming through my house just uh, to check up on me. See how I've been doing it. It's been uh, extremely greatly appreciated. You made this so much easier. And it's like, I don't, I don't know how to say thanks enough times. Um, from the donations to the visits to every ounce of support that you have given me. It's just been so great. Um, I'm going to be doing this video. It's going to be, I'm going to try to keep it short because it's late and I'm tired. Um, but I wanted to talk about my experience with, uh, with top surgery and what happened, what, you know, like, like just, just, a lot because there were a lot of feelings I went into it and I believe I touched on some of them in my last video um, but today I want to focus on like the actual surgery itself um, it's uh, I believe it's been nine days since I've been post-op uh, I got my drains out taken yesterday and uh, as well as my nipple bolsters um, for those of you who don't know what that means um, Usually, typically, um, after a queer person gets top surgery, they, uh, they are, uh, the, the surgeon puts drains into their bodies, um, which basically, um, which basically, uh, they look like plastic tubes, um, that are put inside of your body, and they, uh, connect to a, like, little plastic uh, squeezy thing that basically, uh, holds the fluid that's being drained from the chest to avoid, um, to avoid infection. And, uh, those were left in for a couple days. And after that, they remove them once they feel like the drains, the fluid is low enough. Um, but the nipple bolsters are, are what keep the nipples in place too. And, um, it was an interesting experience, I think, because I thought they were, I thought they were soft. Um, I didn't really touch them, but they look like these little popcorn things that are just like on your chest. It's, it's weird. But when they were like taking them off, it was like they were like, kind of like picking at it with like a surgical instrument. So it was, just, it was a weird experience. So I'll probably uh, keep that to that that part of the conversation now because. Um, because what I want to focus on is is reaching out um, to the greater community um, who I still consider my friends who haven't been inside my bedroom yet. Um, uh, um, so I'm I'm wearing this V neck right now, which is a uh, which um, as you can see, if I'm short, if I tiptoe, um, you can see how flat it is. Um, so I'm a little, I'm a little lumpy right now because I'm wearing my compression shirt, but it's, uh, it's, uh, like they're not there anymore. And I'm, uh, I've been kind of over the moon about it. <laughs> um, there are no words to explain my, my emotions because I, uh, I've been waiting for this for so long, and um, now that it's finally here, now that they're they're gone, everything just feels everything just feels right with the world. Um, the biggest things that I have had problems with have been have been the pain. Um, I've heard from many trans men that this was an unbearable pain, um, but my entire my entire surgery has been pretty manageable. Every bit of pain has been manageable. Um, I feel more sore more than anything else, um, and if I don't stay on top of my medicine, and I really start to feel it, especially in my incisions. Um, and that has been relatively easy to monitor and take care of with the first couple first couple days uh post op i was 
I, I couldn't do it by myself, you know, so, um, so there was that, and, um, and the feeling, the feeling is weird because it, it's, a uh, like, you, you, you can feel your chest, I don't, I, um, I haven't experienced, um, phantom boob yet, but it's, uh, it's, uh, definitely weird looking down at your chest and, uh, expecting to see large set of things sitting there when they're not anymore. Um, the, the overall, the overall feeling has been happiness, like I've said, but, um, I haven't really, like, I haven't really had a chance to, like, process everything. Like, like, uh, I don't know, you know, like, like, this transition has been so much more than just, uh, than just physical for me that a, uh, that as happy as I am as much of a celebratory moment this is in my life it's just uh it's definitely just doesn't feel like the biggest one um I feel I feel peace I guess is what I could say um I feel like this is the way it was always supposed to be and um and that like Everything that was beforehand was just like, I was just wearing a costume and I just finally got to take it off. Um, uh, I guess, I guess I just don't really have like as much to say as I thought I did. And I was, I was expecting this video to be more, um, informative, um. I wanted to talk, I wanted to talk more about the surgery itself, I wanted to talk about some of like the critical aspects, but I guess I'm just not in that headspace right now, so I do apologize about that, um, I, I, I don't know, like, like, I'm, I'm just not, like, I'm, I'm, I'm in this weird, I'm in this weird place right now where I'm like, I'm bruised up, I'm doped up, I'm tired, uh, but I've, I've never just felt more free than I do right in, in this moment. So I guess that's where I'll, uh, I'll leave this video right now. And, uh, when I am probably a little less tired and achy, um, I'll come up with a more concise video to to talk about like certain things and maybe maybe if I uh if I am up to it I will take off my shirt and show you my chest um this compression wrap needs to stay on though because it hurts too much to keep it off um I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off right now um but I will keep you all updated um like I said thank you so much for all of your support without it I would I would be really lost. Um, so it, it, it really means, like, it really means a lot to me. And um, and my love really just goes out to all of my friends who have been having a hard time, Rachel and Jesse especially. Um, you guys are in my heart, and um, please just don't give up and continue to be you. Um, I love you guys, and I love everyone who I can call my friend in this small little tight-knit community that we have. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. Um, I'll probably make another video soon, so for right now, we're signing off. Deuces.